Thanks for joining us on Broken Dolly TV once again. And this is the last part of this series, so make sure that you watch the other two episodes and then come back and finish watching this one. The more I handle these dolls, the more I feel like I'm exposing a scam because I cannot believe. <laughs> oh my God. This is like, this is only extra to a little kid. For a kid's playline level doll, this is, I guess, some something extra. But at a collector level, uh, no. Firstly of all, these earrings, okay? I like that they all have a pair of earrings, but they're stuck in the ears. They don't, they have that annoying nub on the inside that keeps the earrings from falling out for kids. And uh, those are so much of a nightmare to pull out of the doll's ears. Sometimes if you're not careful, you could, you could break the earring. So it's like, you can't really take it out. It just depends. This one, I feel like they were trying to go with that whole thing that the BMR dolls had where one side said BMR, one side said 1959. But the problem with this mixed match look is at least the BMR dolls, their earrings were the same length. These are two totally different lengths. Like, what does it say? It says girl on one side and power on the other side. They should have made the font for power a little bit smaller so it would like line up right. It looks really confusing. It's not the right length. See how they're like totally mixed match? And then the way that the earrings sit on the face, they point inwards like this, like a V, instead of just hanging straight down. So it just looks really bizarre. What is going on? This is like a rush job that they just threw something together for Christmas or something. Like, it looks crazy. So I am noticing there's a difference in her body. Although, she is articulated just like this body is. This is a Barbie, um, a Barbie look doll's body. Okay, it's structured almost the same, but they are shaped very different, which is very interesting. I didn't, I didn't expect that. I thought they were going to be the same. So her chest, look at the shape of the chest. It's completely different. Here they are from the side. It almost feels like hers is a little bit smaller. And look at the shape of the bellies where the belly button dip happens. They're not the same. And then look at the size of their, the butts. This one actually comes out a little further. They're a little bit different. This is really interesting, and I'm not disappointed about this difference. She's got the molded underwear. That I don't like. And look at her waist is a little bit bigger than hers. I think this is so interesting. And um, I'm trying to see if their hands are the same shape. Yet yeah, the hands look very similar, but I can tell that there is a difference because the, the thumbs don't look like quite the same. And there's a little bit less detail in this hand as far as the fingertips. I can tell that they are based on the same mold for the hand. So they are supposed to look very similar. Wow. This was unexpected. Very, very surprised. Here, that here. Their knees are very similar in the construction. The shape of the knee joint. And this one, when you fold it down, looks like that. And hers... Oh, they're a little bit different, you guys. This one is more like, see how everything kind of fits more snug? And then this one has this little dip. Wow, that's so crazy. And then when you're looking at the rest of their lower body, you'll see that, see how there's, see how the thigh connects to the knee here with the high heeled feet is very different in shape. From hers, this one seems a little bit more streamlined, this one here. And she's got flat feet and she's got the arch in her feet for high heels. I don't know, I don't know if the, their feet are the same size because this one actually has a little bit smaller feet than us the usual Carvey dolls do. And her feet look longer, so they're probably a little bigger. And here she is from the back. We see, see some differences here with the way that the um, knee joints look in the back and kind of the weight, like the shape of the legs. This doll has the thinner waistline. It's more cinched. So this is 
I really thought these bodies were going to look the same once they were undressed. And I'm very surprised to find that they're not. Um, because curvy articulated dolls in the play line has not really been very common, I, have, I would have no reason to think that they would make the curvy body shape differently for other articulated dolls. Because this body is different from the fashionistas that have the curvy bodies, but her body looks more like the same dimensions as the fashionistas with the curvy bodies. And here's the jacket off of her body. I can see here that there's no lining where the sleeves are, so this would look crazy if we tried to turn it inside out. So that's too bad, because that would have been so sick if I could get away with um, wearing it reversibly. But that's okay, and it's really big, so I think maybe you could probably fit it on a boy doll too. That would look cool. And it's got an actual zipper on it. They trying to be like integrity toys, you guys. <laughs> but integrity, of course, does it better. This is just like a cheap plastic zipper, but integrity be going in like... Their zippers be like real zippers that you see on actual clothes. They're just very, very small in scale. So, but hey, I I don't see zippered things on Barbie clothes often, so I'm gonna just go with it. <laughs> so this doll was the one in my doll events video where I was trying to make some predictions based on pictures that were released. Uh, this is the one that had like a weird something on her hand and I couldn't figure out what it was. And I was trying to guess what it was. So it's a ring, which I think I might have predicted it could be a ring, like a really big ring. And it goes over like all her fingers. I don't know exactly how they had this attached to her initially, but anyways. And then it's supposed to just like stick up like this on her hand. I don't know if I like this design. It's kind of awkward and bizarre that it goes over all her fingers, but there's only one big giant like something there. That's kind of strange. I don't know if I like the way that that looks in person. And I don't know how practical this is to keep on the doll while you're playing. But see like these hoop earrings. Promise you this is not a new design. We've seen these kind of hoops before on previous fashionistas or something. And you can't really tell on camera right now because the fibers are so small, but I can see them with my eyes. The fur coat that she had on, some of these fibers come off onto her shirt and they're just kind of just hanging on there like stray cat hair. See, there's one right there that's like floating. That looks like really messy. I mean, this is why I said I feel like I'm scared to take the clothes off the dolls because I feel like they're just going to be a hot mess afterwards. But I was surprised that this shirt had long sleeves despite being paired with the shorts. But I'm going to probably use that to mix match with some other stuff. And I might even add some graphics to that shirt because I don't like the color red, you guys. Ding, 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 ding. Gypsy facts. Yes, you need to know this. I'm gonna give you a quiz. I know y'all don't believe me, but you'll see. <laughs> what is Gypsy's least favorite color ever? Red, okay? The answer is red. Rouge. Roja. I don't like red. So, to kind of distract myself from the red, I will probably end up having my son give me a graphic to put on here and kind of do something like that because I can't stand looking at all this red. It makes me angry. I love her shoes. They look like some Wicked Witch of the West. I'm Dorothy. Oh, there's no place like home. Look like that to me, but they're just silver instead of red. These are the little socks that she had on her feet. They are so adorable. And she's got just regular high heel feet. Regular Barbie high heel feet, okay? And I don't anticipate any surprises with this doll's body. She looks like she's got the same kind of body as... Remember the musician doll before the Made to Move dolls? That doll was like everybody's like go-to for a body donor. So she, I think that's the same body they use for this. That's how her lower body looks. She's got these stupid molded underwears on. They look like she got a jock strap on. <laughs> <laughs> with her pants over them but anyways I say this body seems like the same one to me because it has this weird like demarcation right here in the in the thighs 
and the cabs down here see how the colors look a little bit different it's because the textures are slightly different in those parts of the vinyl and those musician dolls had that going on like all of them did so people would think that it was some kind of blemish on the doll but it was like a manufacturer's defect type of thing where all the dolls had the coloring was like that the way they pour the vinyl so people were freaking out about it but it wasn't that big a deal guys i'm sorry to say this but i think adonis was right on his doll events um video that he made where he was kind of like countering some of the some of the things that i was talking about in my doll events on these dolls and he sta he stated that he did not think that these dolls were going to be worth it for these prices because they didn't already come on made to move bodies and he felt like well why articulate the dolls at all if you're not going to put them on made to move bodies and then be like marketing them as extra he predicted people are still going to want these on made to move bodies and i totally can see how that would be true because even though they're articulated these kinds of articulated bodies have a very different like weight to them compared to made to move made to move bodies are a little heavier and more like solid and these are really hollow and like light so it's not really the same you know the quality doesn't feel the same it doesn't feel as sturdy if you really love the head molds and all the clothes and stuff then you probably will end up trying to rebody these dolls so all right so here is a yellow top body next to hers with the joints and the shape like the mold of the body looks very similar but for some reason probably because she doesn't have those um upper arm joints like this doll does she just looks really skinny and scrawny next to her but i can see that the actual like shape that they used for the mold is very similar if not the same yeah but you can see all the all the difference in the joints for sure so this should be interesting rebodying her and seeing how much more she comes to life on a made to move i highly recommend that really not trying to clown these dolls but you guys i mean come look at this hair look look the hair is coming out what what why what <laughs> come on it's like they weren't even trying Holy moly, they gotta do something about this. This is crazy, man, this is crazy. And then she's got like the two braids up here with absolutely bone straight hair that they use to, to root that part of her hair in. And the rest of it is kinky curly texture. So what is this gonna look like when you try to restyle her hair? You gonna have to get real creative with her hairstyles because this looks just insane you guys it just looks crazy i wasn't that excited about this doll to begin with but i really liked her big furry coat and i wanted to be able to use this for some other fashions i want to pair it up with and i liked her complexion so i thought all right i'll take my chances but they could have done better i'm sorry i'm sorry if you're gonna call this extra you gotta do better than this. I'm glad I didn't only get this doll. Like, I'm glad I have the other ones to kind of balance it out for the flaws that each one has. Because then it doesn't seem like it's such a waste. But if I had only one of the dolls, I would really feel like, what on earth did I spend my money on? Sheesh. Because y'all already know. Mattel will be sending us free stuff, okay? We're sponsored by nothing other than Adonis' wallet. Thank you. So... <laughs> So we have to be very picky and choosy about the things that we're going to add to our collection. So I'm not going to take her clothes off here because they have the same body type. And the same goes for this one. They have the same body type as the other skinny one. But I am going to change their clothes, totally just redress them. And let's take a look at that. Earlier in episode one, I know that Jai was really excited to show you guys her shirt that my son had made for her. And this is the actual graphic that's on her shirt. She's wearing the exact same one. And then these other ones have different colors and they all have a little bit different writing. So I want to show you how I changed their outfits, what they're looking like right now. So this one on the end with the rainbow hair, I decided to just leave her hair alone for now. And she still got her original jewelry on. I will say these dolls did come with hella jewelry, but that doesn't really matter to me because I don't go crazy with the doll jewelry on my dolls anyway, except for earrings. So 
I don't really care that they came with a bunch of jewelry. I would have rather seen them come with second outfits. That would have been cool. And her elephant is blue and it's his visionary right here on the ear. And this is just um, a Mattel top that my son customized for me. She's wearing Barbie extra boots that one of the other dolls came with. And look at this heel starting to get squished back there. Other than the squished heels, I do like the way that the shoes look. They're pretty. The sad thing though is that when you try to put these shoes on her without the socks, they don't fit as well. They're kind of wobbly. So I don't know about that. Okay, and then this one, I tried to tie her hair up and put the scrunchie that she had around her wrist initially up in her hair because I just wanted to see if it would even work, if it would stay put. It seems like it's okay, but there is elastic band underneath there keeping her ponytail in place. And her shirt has a purple elephant on it and it says brilliant. She's wearing her original knitted stockings, which I think are really cute. And she's still got her, her original sneakers on. I will say that her hair is really a challenge to style because of the tinsels inside the hair that's all kind of mixed in there. I'm really tempted to like literally go through her hair and rip them out one by one, especially the ones that were up in the front of her head, right where her part is, right there in the middle. Some of the, the tinsel is rooted in there and I had to like pull them out because they were so like um, wavy, like they were really wrinkled and just hard to manage, which is why I really feel like these dolls are super playline. They're really meant for children, but they just sp like spruce them up so that they looked really exciting and would get the attention of children. I really don't think they intended for adult collectors to even take an interest in these dolls. Because how could they with this level of strange quality? It's like some stuff they did really good with and then other stuff it's like what happened Mattel? You just gave up halfway through, you know? Um, I do like all the cool white jewelry that she came with. She had a long silver necklace that I took off because I felt like that was way too much with the outfit she had on. Her chokers, I love the chokers. They, well, the big one here says dream in the front. She's really cute though, I'm not gonna lie. And her hair is um, two different colors on each side of her hair. So I tied the hair up in a way that the purple is kind of more visible because that's the color that I like better. But each side is like a pastel color, pink and purple. I like that they gave them kind of funky hair colors. I don't know why they left her hair so plain, but whatevs. And then um, this one, I really like her outfit. She's got a pink shirt with the pink elephant and her elephant says cultured on the ear and she's rocking some little polka dot shorts with that and I'm so happy to see that her fanny pack fits around her fanny like it should. There's adjustable little holes in the back so you can change the size of the fanny pack to wear it around her chest or on her waist. I'm really really happy about that and I left her original sneakers on her to go along with her fanny pack Kind of break those colors up a little bit. The one thing I didn't do with this doll, I didn't try to do anything with her hair. I took down her bun because I wanted to see what the texture of the hair underneath was going to be like. It looks like it is the same texture hair, but it's just a little stretched out from being in the bun. However, taking this hair down really, really let me see that this hair is absolutely poor quality. Like, look at how it's just flying all over the place. She definitely is going to need to have some type of hair treatment done. I feel like I'm going to need to customize her a lot more than the other dolls, which is a shame because I was so looking forward to playing with her blue hair. I don't normally get dolls that have crazy hair colors. And so this is an exception for me. And I, and I picked her specifically because I loved her hair color. Like it's like a turquoise kind of light blue. So I thought it looked really pretty. It's like a watery kind of color. And look at her scalp in the front. Ew. Like you can see her final and then the black for some reason or this dark brown color doesn't start until further back in her hairline that is insanity what i don't even know what they were thinking the way that they rooted this doll's head and the quality of hair they put in here is just unimaginable you guys it's horrible like i re i'm really trying not to just go in <laughs> I'm trying so hard to not go in on these guys, but I'm so disappointed with this hair quality. It's atrocious, and I don't know why they did this. It was unnecessary. I've seen this kind of big curly hair by Mattel with really good hair, and I don't understand why they did this. I just don't. 
And her earrings, these are not the original earrings that she had in. I had to actually cut those out of her ears because they were so just stuck in there and hard for me to pull out. And I gave her the BMR 1959 mix match earrings instead, which looks more appropriate because they're not just dangling off of her shoulders like massive. I Those think her original earrings were very poorly designed. I like that they were trying to go with the whole girl power movement and that message, but honey, like you can't be coming out looking a mess talking about girl power. That's not girl power, okay? And then this last doll, we've got her original earrings in. Oh, I hate the way that the earrings sit on these dolls' ears, you guys. Why do they why do they go in like that? Can I bend them or something? I might have to manipulate them. Anyways, I took those huge long braids and kind of wrapped them around each of her puffs. So that's why you can't really see them right now. She's She's got on those Timberland boots with the green socks and a green shirt. And her elephant is yellow and it says gifted on there. So they're all matching with their little elephants. So I had this really cute concept for these elephant shirts that I wanted to do for my daughter and the doll so they could match. And I'm so happy the way that they turned out. My son is like really <laughs> amazing at taking art orders. He's so good at like coming up with these um these drawings just based on my verbal concepts that I'm giving to him. So I'm so impressed. Like you guys, I know he's my kid, but I do art too, but I'm, I've never been on this level of artistry when it comes to like freehand drawing. I cannot draw like this, you guys. So I'm like really impressed that my son is able to do this and I don't want his talent to go to waste. Support his talent and what we're doing here on Broken Dolly TV by making sure to go check out our merch store. Everything's right below the screen. And when you buy your merch, because you can get this same print on one of those shirts from our merch store. When you buy the merch, make sure that you take a picture or a video of clip of yourself wearing your merch and tag us over on Facebook and Instagram so that we can feature you on our upcoming videos. Jayu is so excited about these dolls, so I wanted to get her um, matching designs for them. And I love that they're all on different styles of shirts because it still looks like they're all like all their individuality is coming out because each shirt is a different style. So I really, really like that. And this was like so much fun for us to customize them. As little as we did, there's so much more work that needs to be done to these dolls, you guys. These dolls, I feel like straight out the box, are going to make some children very happy. But at a collector level, they're still lacking in quality. Anticipate that you are gonna have to do a little bit of customizing to these dolls to really personalize them and have them come up to the level that the rest of our dolls in our collection actually are on. And I don't want to forget to give a shout out to one of our viewers, Navi LeBlonde, who left a really cool comment about their doll. They said that they got the Pinkalicious doll, which, again, Mattel does not give these dolls names. They just numbered them. So the nicknames that we had that we were going with during, like, our doll events video, um, those, I think they were just made up by the person who was running the site or something because Mattel is not listing them on their website with those names. But anyways, that doll the millie head sculpt um this person navi said that they owned her and that they immediately rebodied her onto a made to move and she looks so much better on that body so that was a really good comment and i appreciate you for sharing that with us because after reading your comment and looking at these dolls i can totally see why immediately you change their bodies out because i would too and you probably are going to be seeing me um doing something different with these dolls later on so i'll give you guys an update as soon as i finish working on them and we'll see you next time right here on broken dolly tv thank you so much for watching follow us on our social media and we'll talk to you soon have a dolly day